Welcome back to another Hunter's Arena gameplay guide video. Based off the title, you already know we're looking at Sandy. But this here is something you don't really want to do. Jump to a fight, half health, no stamina. That serves as a recipe for failure. But luckily my opponent was not the best. So uh, we made it out of there. We got him. Now Sandy is a pretty good character. I think she would excel more in trios instead of solos because in trios you can just slow the opponents down and they can't run especially when you got multiple people chasing them but for solos she's still pretty good her kit is uh, it's pretty good typically what I do with Sandy you'll see over here I hit him with the three two one three two one the third ability second ability first ability so the slow down the freeze the ice projectile and that right there is usually my go-to combo whenever I want to end a fight quickly. But it's also kind of risky because her cooldowns are kind of long. But doing that gives you a great head start of the fight. It takes at least half their health and then they'll be uh, too weak to do too much. Now tip for the lasers. I know a lot of people have problems with those unblockable lasers that Sandy has and Dalgi has. If you want to get past the unblockable laser, just run up on them and ult them. That's pretty much all you got to do. The ult will uh, cancel their laser and do good damage on them. With Dalgi, you can pretty much run away from it. Sandy, she has a super long range on her unblockable laser. So, uh, you can still run or you can run up on her. The altar. It's up to you. All right. So, as far as tips goes, we can go over her abilities real quick. You already know her first ability is the ice projectile. Um, if you hold the ability down, the ice projectile gets bigger and does more damage. Her second ability is the freeze. I know a lot of people don't like getting hit with that. And then her third ability is the slow down. A lot of people don't like getting hit with that either. Um, the fourth ability we just talked about, that's the um, laser, unblockable. And her ultimate is an ultimate. And then we can start talking about her passive, which is something I don't really like. Her passive is whenever you use an ability, if you immediately, immediately after using the ability, if you dash or roll or whatever, try to dodge, she'll do a, a back dash. She'll uh, back step further away from your opponent, which is not something I like because I want to get up on the opponent. If I'm freezing them or slowing them down, I want to get up in there. And it doesn't help that all her moves have pushback. Look at me getting stuck on nothing. Like her first ability, the ice projectile, the one, it um, of course knocks people down. It's good for if they're next to the ledge, you hit them with that, and they're off the ledge. Her number two, the freeze ability pushes people back. It doesn't knock them down, but it pushes them back further away from you. Her number three, which is a slowdown, also pushes people further away from you. But I don't want, if they're gonna get, like I wanna dodge right after the third ability. The three, two, one. I wanna dash to get closer up to them. If I, but if I immediately dash, she'll jump away. Which leads me to believe she's more so for trios. So she can just put a whole bunch of status effects CC on them crowd control on the opponent so she can freeze them slow them down and dash out of there and let the opponents your teammates do their do their thing now if you don't want to burst all your abilities three two one you can just do three one which is the slow down followed by the ice projectile and that seems to do be pretty good I believe I used that tactic all throughout this match because I wanted to I wanted to try to save the freeze for what I wanted it or needed it this right here is a peculiar situation. It seemed like these two singled me out as their uh, main opponent. I don't know, maybe they don't like Sandy. Maybe these two just don't like Sandy and they're like, we gotta get her out of here. But, um, I wasn't feeling it. I will say these two were kind of, uh, doo-doo, dumpster juice, bottom of the barrel. Um, which is why I was able to beat both of them. But it looked like they actually start fighting, I guess. I messed up because I didn't heal in time, and then he comes over here. 
but it looks like they started fighting each other, so that's great. So maybe I was uh, tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's just a coinky dink. Who knows? But I kill that guy and run away. I don't want to get dropped attack. I heard him drop. And there I go to double. Smooth with it. But as I was saying, if you don't want to, uh, you know, burst all your moves out, uh, you can save the freeze. So just hit him with your three, and then the one. And then I save the freeze. See that? That was a mistake. I want to dash up on him after the freeze, but she jumped back. Which is why I say the passive is kind of uh, iffy. I ain't iffy. I don't like it. Plain and simple. Maybe she's good for um, trios. And then right here, do you see that? I fall down. I was thinking he was gonna, you know, do the follow up drop attack, but no, he decided to uh, fight the boss and leave me alone. That's something you don't want to do. So here I am coming back up there. Put in work. I'm gonna hit him with the three, one. Miss my two. And based off that, I think I'm more of a fan of just blowing blowing the whole low. Getting rid of all your abilities ASAP. Three, two, one. Just getting all out. Do do as much burst damage as possible. I think I'm a fan of that rather than uh trying to save the two. It's kind of a drawback because they do have long cooldowns, especially the freeze, but let's just get it out of there. And then, of course, gotta hit him with that beam. He tries to block it, but it's an unblockable, my guy. Should have ran up on me and ulted. And, of course, you gotta get your defense up there, counter, ult. Now, I do want to apologize. It's been a couple of days since I, uh, uploaded a video but you gotta I guess realize you know I'm in, I'm in college you got I got school you know I got work and everything to do so that means I can't upload uh you know every day of the week I can probably only get the video out maybe once or twice a week um if I handle all my if I handle everything ahead of time maybe I can put out three maybe four videos a week I'm gonna lowball it and say one video one or two videos a week. I don't want to make no empty promises. So I'm just going to lowball it and say, at the very minimum, you'll get one video a week. But yeah, I would say the go-to strategy would be 3, 2, 1. The slow down, the freeze, and then the ice projectile. And then you don't need to out try to outplay your opponent if you hit them with the laser. I mean, the only way they can stop it is to run up on you, ult you, but most people don't do that. So it's kind of a free kill if someone's low in health. Now I do wish you could do 3, 2, 1, dash forward, and then ult somebody. That would be a nasty combo if it was possible, but if you dash too quickly after your ability, it um you know it pushes you back. Now I've said just about everything I needed to say. And so instead of staying on here rambling for the next three to four minutes, I'm just going to put on some music, nothing too abrasive or loud, just a nice clean instrumental. And I'm going to let the rest of these clips uh, play out and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.